Hello guys and gals, it's your boy Spud here and welcome to Enjoy Life Music where we talk about everything music related in Japan and Korea and sometimes Asia in general. You already know the spill, so let me just get out the way. Anywho, today I have a music review for you. Today we will be checking out Mukai Taichi's latest album, Colorless. So without further ado, let's dive on in. <laughs> Alrighty, Mukai Taichi's Colorless was released on April 20th of this year, of course, and it contains 12 tracks on the album, all of them being R&B based, uh, a little bit of soul, a little bit of hip hop, and of course a little bit of pop in there, with one song having some very unique sound to it, but we'll get into that later. Overall, what do I think of this album? It is good. Not great, not bad. I think there's more good than bad. I am a little disappointed with the lack of R&B this time. Of course, there is still R&B. There's a lot of new school R&B and there is an old school R&B song in there as well, which is great. But I felt some of the songs were just kind of meh. Now, I will talk about the songs that stood out the most to me. Just because this is an album, it's very long. I can't go into every single track on the album. So the first song would be Boku no Mama De. This song is good. It's not really R&B. It's kind of your typical Japanese style of music. It's kind of poppy, a little bit R&B-ish. I, I mean, it's kind of generic. I don't really have much to say. Although, for some reason, it's one of the most popular songs on his album. I have no idea why, because I think there are some other songs in here that deserve that spot. Now, another song that seems to be very popular on this album is Love Is Life. This song I actually do like. It's a very upbeat, new school R&B song. It talks about love, like most songs do with R&B. Although the song is a little scary, considering the lyrics are kind of, ma, chotto. This dude is very obsessed with whoever he's in love with. He's going on about how he realized he's fallen in love and he wants to be with her always, never wants to be separated, always wants to meet up with her, talking about like, this is the deepest love he's ever felt in the world. It's kind of like, whoa, whoa. Calm down, bro. You are entering stalker territory. <laughs> yeah. Still a sweet song. And then the last song that is very popular, according to Apple Music and Spotify, is Colorless. In terms of instrumentals and musicality, the way it sounds, it's okay to me. Mukai Taichi's voice never sounds bad, although it does sound a little bit different in this one. Usually his voice is a bit more high-pitched. This one, he brings it down a bit. <laughs> it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, it's not bad at all. It's just like, whoa, what, what happened here? So going by the lyrics of this song, it's kind of a breakup song. Now, there are two songs that I really like personally. The first would be What You Want. And that's because it's kind of a combination of everything that he's known for in terms of style of music. So you have a combination of R&B, some soul, a little bit of pop, and some hip-hop vibes. But there is one thing that he adds, which is like, whoa, where the heck did that come from? So specifically in the chorus, he starts using a very special instrument. Now, I think this is what it is. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it sounds like a Japanese guitar, which is a shamisen. And it sounds really good. Like it really adds a lot of um, flavor to the song. And, like I, I was I was breaking it down, you know, like But yeah, it it was it was good. I really appreciated that song. And of course, his singing voice is always wonderful. So no complaints there. And then the other song I like is, of course, the baby making song. If you don't know, basically any R&B album has one of these songs in there. And 
Mikai Taichi is no exception. He follows the same trend apparently. And the name of the song is appropriately named. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> this is kind of a classic R&B style song, like, you know, those 90, 2000 style songs, more akin to 2000s R&B. The lyrics are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not even going to go into that. Yeah, I'm just a sucker for those kind of songs. I love it. Great beat, real chill, close my eyes and just think about all the... Gotta keep this channel PG. Moving on, as I mentioned earlier, there was one track on the album that I really did not like. And if I'm being honest, there were two. But I think this one I disliked a little bit more than the other. And that would be Sorry Not Sorry. And, um, hmm. Why does that sound so familiar? Where have I heard this title name before? Yeah. I'm just not feeling the song at all. I know it's more of a hip hop style song, but I just don't think Mukai Taichi's singing style really matches hip hop. Um, and that's why I had such a hard time enjoying the song. I mean, the lyrics are fine, but I just don't like how his voice mixes with the instrumentals. It just, something just sounds off. And that's why I also didn't like uh, Coming Up. I'm sorry, not Coming Up, Coming Up. Uh, that was another song I just couldn't get behind. It, it didn't seem to match the album, in my opinion. Now, another thing I noticed about this album, I'm not sure if it was done on purpose, but it was the naming of these songs. So if you just follow the list of each one of these songs, it's kind of telling a story, which there are some albums that do that. And I think maybe this might have been the case for this album. We start with one, Boku no Mama de. Then two, Love is Life. Then Ups and Downs. Then Baby Cakes. Then Coming Up. Then Kanashima Nai. Then Get Loud. Don't Lie. What You Want. Sorry Not Sorry. Bad and Colorless. So from what it sounds like, you know, the first song is kind of like, you know, not being afraid of yourself, gotta do what you gotta do, I believe in myself, I am a strong person. And then, you know, the second song, he realizes he's in love with this girl, baby cakes, talking about your girl, that kind of thing. And then the very last song, Colorless, is a breakup song. I'm sorry, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I'm pretty sure I'm spot on with this. So that's that's a huge bonus. I give him props on that. That's not easy to do. So if I had to give a rating to this album, I would give it a 3 out of 5. So why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. Let me break it down. The good. A lot of variety with the songs. Good use of R&B, pop, and originality in some of his songs, especially What Do You Want? And then obviously great singing voice. The thing that really brought it up for me was the fact that his album actually has a story. The ups and downs of love, the whole process, <laughs> the whole dating process. Confidence, get the girl, ups and downs, treasuring your girl, then the bout to go wow wow, and then the breakup and all that kind of stuff. So bonus points on that. Now the bad. While there is a lot of versatility in his songs, I do believe that the hip-hop portions of his songs just don't really work well. Um, that is my biggest gripe. And then some of his songs are just a little meh, just generic. They don't sound great. Um, they're, they're decent at best. So that's why I'm bringing points down. All right, well, that was my review for Mukai Taichi's Colorless. So what do you guys think of the album? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think about the hip hop tracks? Are you into them? Do you think they sound a little off? And um, what's your favorite song on the album? 
So go ahead and leave a comment down below and we can talk about this kind of stuff because it's always fun. And if you liked the video, go ahead and obliterate that like button. And if you really loved it, how about you subscribe right here and click that bell to be notified for any future videos that I upload because I do upload every week. So there is that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter because I do post on there occasionally. That being said, enjoy life, enjoy music. Peace.